Greetings dear W124 fans, it's Irica speaking and you are watching the series on KE Jetronic repairs and Mercedes W124 M102 in general. In this video we are going to talk about the spark plugs and the, that leads us to which plug should I choose, when should I replace my spark plugs, how can I know if I have an issue on my car? How much should I be tightening my plugs? And how much gap? So stay tuned! Spark plugs in general are the common topic for all cars, just, not just for Mercedes cars. Concerning the right choice, Mercedes cars use Bosch, Beru and Champion spark plugs. When you pop up the hood, you can see at the passenger side of the engine compartment which of these three types you should be using. For example, if you go for Bosch, it's likely that you will get a copy of it if you buy it outside of the Mercedes service. Beru has better quality, you get an original part and it's cheaper. So if you choose those, you will have to buy Beru 14K7DUO. Or if you go for a Champion, go for the Champion S9YCC. I will give you the list for other types, not just for the M102 engine. In general, spark plugs can last up to 60,000 km. Check the plugs every 20,000 km. A spark plug can tell us much about the combustion in our engine and what we should be doing with our car. If the spark plug is black, then you have a rich mixture. Light gray, the mixture is lean. The mixture we target is gray brown, as we see on this picture. If you have an oil fouling, that means malfunction of a particular spark plug or worn piston rings. Concerning the gap, the gap for all Mercedes-Benz cars is 0.8 mm. When buying new spark plugs, make sure that they have the predicted gap if not, make the necessary correction with the tools. I believe all of you know how to replace a spark plug, so I won't go to that details. I believe everyone of you has done this job already, but I can give you some useful advice, like for example, when tightening the spark plugs, tighten them straight, not in the angle. Don't over tighten them because they could break off if you decide to remove them. 
By over tightening the spark plugs, you can damage the thread in cylinders. Just go easy when tightening the spark plugs, then take the torque wrench. The torque specification for the plugs is 25 Newton meters or 18.44 foot pounds of torque. I have been using NGK, Beru, Champion, Brisk, and now I'm using Polestar Plasma spark plugs. They're a bit expensive. As we know, spark plugs are cheap in general. But these are a bit different. Those spark plugs make plasma out of an ordinary spark, so they create 1 million watts of power. Yes, you've heard me right. 1 million watts. I will put the link in the description below so you can see for yourself the difference in Spark. Concerning the Polestar, this is not a promotion video. I paid for the Spark plugs with my own money. There is an improvement. The car runs better indeed. Concerning the Spark plugs, Mercedes recommends I like the Champion best. Brisk, I have been using while driving on the fuel called LPG. I will not discuss further about that, that's some other topic. Maybe one of my future videos will be about the LPG, period. Well, concerning those Brisk plugs, here, I have three of those. As you can see, I haven't been using them much. As you can see... Oh. I don't know what to say. For, as for me, it looks right, okay here. But here it indicates a lean mixture. As you can see, this black part. Well, they say it's a rich idle. Yeah, the thread should be okay. But those I've been using while running on LPG. The gap is not as it should have been. I think it's uh, 0 0.6 millimeters and not uh, 0 0.8. Well, see this. This one also. There is more than a year since I haven't been using these plugs. This is how they look like now. As you can see. This is the third one. So you can see for yourselves. So, if you liked this video, comment it, like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, many greetings from me and happy Mercedes-ing. Bye-bye.